Hi, and thanks for joining me once again. In today's post, I'm going to take a look at utilizing a PDF file from maybe one of my vendors to help me build a symbol. It's going to make life a lot easier when I go through to build this symbol when I just have to trace the symbol itself instead of trying to be creative and create my own. So the first thing I need to do is go out and find that PDF file. I should have one out here on my desktop available. So we'll take a quick look at it first before I get started here. So here's the symbol I want to build. So we can take a look, there's quite a bit of detail here. I'm not saying we need to put all this detail in my symbol, but if I wanted to, it's just a one-time um, expenditure of time, basically, to create a really high-quality symbol. So the first thing I need to do, of course, is find that symbol. I'm just going right to right-click on it and select Copy. And coming back into AutoCAD Electrical, and in doing this, I'm going to go through now, and I'm going to go ahead and create that symbol itself. So first thing I need to do is paste that symbol back into my electrical drawing. So basically I want my page number one, select a location for it, a scale factor, and a rotation. So here's my PDF file living inside of AutoCAD Electrical. My next step in doing this is I'm going to go through and just use my basic AutoCAD command. So I'll go to my home tab, I'm going to change some layer information so I can at least see my symbol start to stand out as I'm going through and building it. Again, just using some generic AutoCAD commands. AutoCAD is going to allow me to go through and understand some of the object snap points of this design itself. So it makes it really easy to go through and start tracing this information. So as I do this, I'm not, again, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time in here. Just enough to give you the general idea. So again, going through, adding a, a couple areas here. And just about done. There's a couple boxes I've added in, added in a little bit of line information off my intersection point here, and just place that up there. Intersection, I'll just roughly there, just kind of roughing it in, and one last one. So we can see already that it's very easy to come in here and start um, really just tracing our PDF file. We also, if we double click on our PDF file, we have a PDF underlay tab that comes up. So what the, what's nice about this is this gives me the ability to go in here and actually fade in and fade out that PDF file as it stands anyways. Well, if I'm done working on this, I can always go to my show underlay and turn this on and off just to see my symbol itself. So I'll go ahead and do that. So now let's say I actually went through and added all the detail I wanted for the symbol. Well, now we just come back to our schematic AutoCAD electrical tab and go into our symbol builder. Specify some information specify maybe what type of symbol this is going to be. I'll just keep it maybe generic for now. Or maybe I'll just even do a control relay. Whatever. Whatever the case may be. And I'll go ahead and hit OK. So it's going to ask me to in my insertion point. I'll just say down here for now. What do I want captured as my symbol? This information. If you worked with Symbol Builder in the past, you're definitely well aware of the tools. So any information we want to add into our symbol, we can select this few or as many as we want out of this tab. Let's select them all and drag them onto my screen and then place them onto my symbol itself. Also some other areas we might want to worry about here is of course maybe uh, for pin information um, where, where my wire connections are going to be. So I'll go ahead and add in that type of information. So I'll go midpoint there, midpoint there, and one more midpoint right there. So for me right now, that's enough information that I need to add in here. I can go ahead and I can close that block editor. Again, do I want to specify a new base point or any other information I want to specify from inside of this menu? I can even go through and look at details and actually have AutoCAD Electrical do a check of my symbol. So let's look through, see what's okay. There's some different wire connections. So really just, again, this is really more of a symbol audit. It lets me know what's going on with inside of my symbol. But if I'm okay with everything, I want to go through, I'm going to rewrite the symbol I had in there. And now it's asking me, do I want to reinsert my symbol into my design? Well, in this case, I probably do. Or I can go out and I can add the symbol in. So let's go to my icon menu, go find my symbol. I'll have this symbol. Uh, maybe test it out here. I have Tata and Technologies. Maybe I'll do a quick lookup of this symbol. 
waiting for all my tables to come up. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and use one of my black boxes. So I'll go in, grab my black box information, a, a symbol I built in my database before, location code, maybe it's cabinet 4, pin information, 25 or 23, 24, 26. Go ahead and hit OK. So now looking at the symbol that I've added in, we can definitely go through, make sure it's all working. We see some descriptive information in my cabinet 4, my uh, you know, pin information up here is coming in, so everything's working fine. So the main thing I really want to demonstrate in today's blog is being able to take that manufactured PDF, that cut sheet from them, utilize it, utilize it as basically a template or something I can trace over to create a high quality symbol. Uh, again, that symbol being a, of good quality is going to separate my designs maybe from my competition. So hopefully I was able to teach you a little bit something today about symbol creation with a PDF file. Look forward to speaking to you next week. Thanks and have a great day.